This video explains how to calibrate your hygrometer or relative humidity gauge. I'm Stephen L. Smith, President of King of the House Home Inspection in Bellingham, Washington. I work in a damp climate. Therefore, I often take relative humidity or RH readings inside homes that I inspect. Four years ago, I published an online article explaining how to calibrate a hygrometer. Interest in that article has been overwhelming. I've received emails from around the world. People from all over are interested in relative humidity. And that's especially true of those individuals who are storing expensive cigars or expensive stringed instruments. Out of control relative humidity in a home can lead to serious moisture or mold issues. Recommended relative humidity readings vary by climate, so do some research to find out what's optimal for your area. Hygrometers come in all sizes, all shapes, and all price ranges. To calibrate a hygrometer, you need to mix a 75% solution and build a simple relative humidity chamber. To create that relative humidity chamber, use salt. Just about any household salt, sodium chloride, will work. I use coarse kosher salt. Next, obtain a vessel in which to mix the chemicals. I cut the bottom off of a plastic jar or a yogurt container. Since there's a sensor built into my hygrometer, I also cut a notch in the side of the vessel. The notch will hold the sensor over the mixture without any risk of the sensor getting wet. You want moisture in the air, not water on the sensor. Put your chemical of choice, the salt, in the vessel. You don't need a lot. I estimate that three to four tablespoons will do. Next you need water, preferably distilled water, but I find that tap water works just fine. People always ask me how much water they should add. The answer is not too much, maybe a tablespoon or a bit more, but add it gradually to create slurry. You do not want to dissolve the salt. For the proper chemical reaction you need both solid and liquid. This looks just about right. Water is apparent, but you can still see the salt crystals. If you touch it, it should have the consistency of a snow cone. Remember, a dry solid will not work, and all liquid will not work either. Now let's look at a way to calibrate any hygrometer. First, obtain a clear plastic Ziploc bag. Seal that bag with the hygrometer and the salt mixture inside, and wait 12 hours for the relative humidity to stabilize. Basic physics assures us that 75% RH will be generated. Room temperature is not critical either, but try to keep the temperature between 60 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. This hygrometer is on its way to a reading of 75% relative humidity. Most affordable hygrometers are not precise, but they're accurate to within about 5%. If you have a simple mechanical hygrometer, once you check this 75% reading, you might be done here. Simply figure out the correction factor. For example, if the device reads 62% when the RH is 75%, then it's too low by 18% and that should be taken into account. If you have a more sophisticated instrument, you'll probably also want to calibrate at 33% or 32.8% to be specific. The process is the same as was described before, except you need a different salt. Magnesium chloride is used for the 33% solution, and it can be purchased on eBay. For example, on this search page, you could buy the chemical in the first position, available from an aquarium supply house, or the chemical reagent in the third position down. You don't want the tablets in the middle, that's the wrong product. If you have one of the popular hygrometer pens with the sensor on the end, there's an easy way to calibrate at both 75% and 33% relative humidity. Find two small plastic or glass jars with plastic lids that screw into place. Cut round holes in the lids. You need a snug fit, so the sensor is tight in the hole with no air gaps to the sides. Needless to say, put your salt and water mixtures in the bottoms of the jars, screw on the lids, put the hygrometers in place, and wait 12 hours. This hygrometer is right on and doesn't even need to be calibrated. 
With two instruments and two humidity chambers, you can swap the hygrometers back and forth for double checking accuracy. Just give an instrument 40 minutes to stabilize after moving it from one chamber to another. If you have an instrument that's off, not recognizing 75% or 33%, then calibrate the instrument using the manufacturer's instructions. I'm Stephen L. Smith, President of King of the House Home Inspection in Bellingham, Washington. I hope that this narrated slide presentation has helped you better understand this calibration procedure. King of the House Home Inspection serves the Pacific Northwest region of Washington State, Whatcom, Skagit, and Island Counties. I'm a member of the Washington State Home Inspector Licensing Board, lead instructor of home inspection at Bellingham Technical College, and I'm Washington State Licensed Home Inspector number 207 and a State Licensed Structural Pest Inspector. If you'd like to review any of this information in detail, please visit my website, www.kingofthehouse.com. At the bottom of the page, left side, click on Real Estate Information, Other Web Pages of Interest. Then left side again, click on the fifth blue box down, Hygrometer Calibration. And that'll take you to the original article. If you believe that this information on calibrating hygrometers would be of interest to a friend, I'd appreciate it if you'd share the link.